What's going on? DJ Hoppe here at Scratch DJ Academy in New York City to bring you a new video on how to go from Serato DJ to Rekordbox. Now, Rekordbox is a software that is owned by Pioneer and uh, it is used to, one, not only sort of set up all of your tracks and analyze all your songs and then be able to sync them to a flash drive to then go right into a CDJ, or there's a new Rekordbox DJ software, which is pretty similar to Serato DJ in that it's a desktop software. You use it with your laptop, you hook it right into one of their mixers or one of their controllers and use it that way. So in today's video, we're gonna show you how to go from Serato DJ to Rekordbox, and there are five things that we're gonna show you in this video. Number one, how to take the crates that you've spent so much time on in Serato DJ, and you don't wanna lose that when you're going over to Rekordbox. So how to maintain that same organization file-wise. We'll show you that. We'll also show you how to set cue points, how to set loops inside of Rekordbox, and then also how to audition tracks inside of Rekordbox together. Um, you actually have the ability to do that in offline mode right on your laptop, which is a cool feature. And last but not least, we'll also show you how to bounce out to an actual USB stick to then be able to go right into the CDJ so that you can play right there without the laptop. All right, so the first thing I wanna talk about is sorting and organization. So when it comes to crates, uh, there's a little bit of a different terminology. In Rekordbox, there are playlists as opposed to crates. Um, and there are folders as well. So you would have a folder and inside that folder you could put multiple playlists. So it would sort of be the same as like crates and sub crates. Um, you can also create smart playlists as well inside of Rekordbox. And one little hack that I use a lot is I'll pull up a, a folder in, uh, in my Serato. So like let's say I'm gonna pull up this folder and I'll take all of this, so highlight it all, which is command A to highlight them all, find a folder on this side or create a folder on this side, and then just drag everything from here to there. And it'll all come over. Now obviously, again, the cue points won't come over, the loops won't come over, so that's why we did that in the beginning of going and setting cue points and setting loops. So you'll have to redo that work, unfortunately. Um, but at the very least, you'll be able to kind of move your tracks over and kind of keep the right structure of your organization from Serato DJ into Rekordbox, and that's helpful. Cue points, so I really love the fact that you can set multicolored cue points inside of Serato DJ, you can set up to eight cue points. You know, the challenge that has been in the past with um, Rekordbox is you can only set up to three, um, but that's not entirely true. There's sort of two sets of cue points in Rekordbox. You have your hot cues, which now you have up to eight, and then you also have these memory cues as well. So I'm gonna show you how to, you know, what the difference is and how to set both of them. So I'm gonna pull a track up onto the deck and you'll notice that this track already has cue points that I set on it, but I'm gonna go in there and set a cue point. There it is. All right, so you can set up to eight hot cues. So the hot cues work when you hit the hot cue, it'll start playing automatically. Uh, the difference would be you could set a memory cue. So I can set a memory cue, let's say here, and in that way, I would hit in and then memory, and it would set a memory queue. Now that my memory queues are stored over here. Now the main difference between the memory queues are when I hit them, I, I can't just play from there. It just queues it up to that spot. So that might be a good thing to do for the very first queue point, let's say, is to set it as a memory queue, or to simply just mark a point in the track that you know you want to get to later, so that you can see it on the CDJ later. Um, the challenge here will be, as people transition from the CDJ2000 Nexus 1 that has three cue points on the actual player, to the Nexus 2 which has eight cue points on the player, then you'll be able to utilize these eight cue points. Otherwise, it might be helpful to utilize some of these memory, memory hot cues as well. Um, great, that's cue points. Secondly, um, I want to talk about loops and sort of the navigation where the loops are. So, when you're looking at Rekordbox, you have to drop down between these two pieces. And when it comes to the loops, the loops are right here. So I can set my desired length, one beat. And I can also store these loops. And the way to do that would be that now, let's say I have my loop set here. Now I want to store it. I hit memory. And now that creates a, an actual memory queue right there for it. So 
the loops are in a different section and in a different place, then it would be on Serato DJ, but you'll get used to them. The loops are stored over here, and the way that you would set them is here. So, you know, there are some subtle differences between Serato DJ and Rekordbox, and that's one of the reasons why we're doing this video, is so that you kind of get used to where things are placed, and so that you don't feel lost when you're staring at it, um, especially if you've been, you know, in Serato DJ for so long here. Um, this call button will also jump between your different memory cues, so this will jump between those little red marks, um, so you can kind of call them up quickly. And this is also mirrored on the actual CDJ deck as well, um, so you'll be able to see that on the hardware. That's loops. I really like this part of um, record box is the ability to see another view. So if you go up to the top here, you'll notice that there are these different types of views. This one, you can actually audition tracks. So you can have one song playing on the, top uh, on the top deck, and on the bottom deck, you can have another one queued up. Um, so this way I can kind of test things out. Um, I do this a lot on the plane, especially like, um, you know, just auditioning things, seeing how things sound together. Um, in this case, you are sort of having to use sync, though. There's no other way to do it because you can't really control it. But it's a good way of just kind of testing out if things will sound good with one another. Um, and so, yeah, I can try that. So just kind of an interesting way of testing things out, and that you can't do in Serato DJ in sort of an offline mode. So to be able to do that, like just on the laptop, is a great feature in my mind. The last thing I want to show you, and, and obviously there's so much to learn here in Rekordbox, and I encourage you to watch more of the videos that we have on Rekordbox where we go a bit more in depth. Um, but one of the last things I want to show you is how you would sync this to the actual uh, USB drive. So you'd plug in your USB drive, you go over to Sync Manager, you're trying to find the playlist that you want, find the playlist, and then you'll see your device, uh, which is your USB, and then you'll hit this arrow right here and it'll sync it all over to your device. It'll take a little while the first time you do it, but once it's done, it's now on the stick. You're able to take that USB stick, pop it right in the CDJ, and you're off and running. And that is how you go from Serato DJ to Rekordbox. Uh, now, it's not exclusive. It's not just a one-way thing. So you can always go from Rekordbox back to Serato DJ or vice versa. Personally, I use both quite often. So hopefully you found that helpful. Uh, for more videos on Rekordbox, and more videos on Serato DJ, make sure to watch more below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you've got questions, leave a comment. We'll get back to you. And make sure you subscribe to this channel if you like what you're seeing.